Art a la carte, I've, I've been involved with since the beginning. It was like kind of an, an idea that we had um, at the end of a fall semester about, we got 12, 13 years ago. And we were just kind of brainstorming about an event that would bring the community's attention to um, our students, to our, to our program, you know, to our building, to our facilities. Um, and that's kind of how Art a la carte came to be. What drew us to create the event was the need for student scholarships. We needed more scholarships for art students, and so we thought we could draw within ourselves and find some great ways to support our students by donating our own artwork as faculty members. Um, and now we have alumni helping us, students, and everybody else in the community um, to help organize the event. So we started it to help our students. So I've donated to our a la carte probably five years or so now. Um, and I have some friends of mine that have one that they gotten uh, several years ago and they just mentioned it recently. And then, you know, it occurred to me like, I'm so glad that's out in somebody's home. This one, um, this is uh, called Wandering Tree City Creek. So these pages are coated in a photosensitive emulsion called cyanotype, which is always blue. Um, and the actual branch is placed on this paper to make this image. And then I also shifted it partway through the exposure to suggest movement that way too. I'd love for these pieces to go out to people in the community, so this is a great way to have that happen, plus supporting students, and that's um, the kind of primary reason I love it, is that it goes all to scholarships for students.